In these cases, when we're dealing with similar right triangles, the key is this. It's this segment right here, that altitude. If we know what that altitude is, that's going to tell us what we're going to what we're going to end up having to do. But if we don't know it, if we know this altitude, it's this squared equals that, this part times that part. But if we don't have that, and we only have the leg, and this is missing, then we have to go into the part where it says that this leg right here, where it's going to be the leg squared is equal to the closest part of the hypotenuse. Maybe I should make those times the hypotenuse. And you can't see any of that, so let me zoom out a little bit. All right. All right. I need a thinner tipped pen to do this so you can at least read it. Since Michigan State won last night, I'll go with green. All right, now, this is your leg. So I need 7 times the square root of 33 quantity squared. Now, also, the way that I kind of look at when you're dealing with the leg part, it's all about the corner. It's all about making a corner. And the corner is going to be this part right here. The leg that you have and this part that you have makes a corner. And this is the corner that I'm talking about. So the part that makes the corner is going to be 33. And then you multiply by the whole shebang, the whole uh, part, which is x. So there's a couple different ways you can really think about it. If you're dealing with a leg, you're really concerned with the corner itself and what part makes the corner. You can cover up the second part of it. That part makes the corner the 33. It comes from the fact that all three of these triangles are similar, but an easy way is to say, all right, well, it's this part with this part. Now, here's the trick when you have two numbers that are being multiplied, because really this is seven times the square root of 33. What this is going to be is 7 squared times the square root of 33 quantity squared. And that's going to be equal to 33 times x. Now what's 7 squared? What's 7 times 7? 49 times, now the square root of 33 squared. What happens with the square root when you square it? Yeah, it just becomes 33. When you take a square root and you square it, it's like adding and subtracting. They undo each other. They're inverses of each other. So this is times 33 is equal to 33 times x. Now, I'm not going to multiply this out because I see I have a 33 here. I got a 33 over here. Divide by 33, divide by 33. Those two divide out, I'm left with 1. These two divide out, I'm left with 1 there. So what I'm left with is x here and 49 over here. And that's the answer.